hey guys hello everyone so the csr net answer key and uh, response sheet everything is now available on the website and i guess you are already aware about it and uh, as soon as the answer key comes we have only two days left for the challenge like to challenge the question and that's why i'm getting a lot of requests from you i'm trying to do as many questions as possible so in this video i'm going to take aptitude part questions so i just got request of two questions from aptitude part like so many people asked and all of you were having problem in these two questions only so I, I am going to take those two questions over here in this video right uh, so that's what i'm going to tell you that how like whether the answer key is right or wrong and why exactly it is right so everything i'm going to make it clear also i'm looking forward for the other sections as well like part b and part c and uh, i'll do it in like most requested questions will be done first so please do let me know which question you guys want me to check and yeah i'm already doing because a lot of requests i have already got from you guys so i'm trying to do that as soon as possible okay so in the best or in the fastest way possible from my side i'll try to upload these videos so now without wasting any time let's continue with this so we are going to have question check for aptitude part of uh, csi ugc net uh, june 2022 exam and uh, the first question which you guys requested a lot was question id 46 and uh, i know this question was actually like uh, it's it's easy it's so easy that uh, the chances of making mistake was very high over here so the question says that which of the options uh, will make the following sentence a true statement uh, correct answer by the way was given uh, option number 183 or uh, option id 183 which is 7 now uh, the answer why 7 is correct because uh, the statement says that like the question says that which of the options will make the following statement a true statement okay and if you see that it says that the letter s of the english alphabet occurs in this sentence dash time now a lot many of you have done this mistake let me tell you what what you have done is you have just counted how many times this s is coming so uh, the letter s of the english alphabet occurs in this sentence dash time so let's see how many times it comes so you have to consider this also because it's a part of this sentence so one time uh, then we have this second time so i'm just going to write down here so first time uh, second time then we have this as the third time this as the fourth time uh, this s over here as the fifth time and this s over here as the sixth time and what you guys have done you have written over here that six is the correct option and that's what you guys are telling that sir the answer should be 182 but but understand what the question is that's where aptitude test your ability to think they are actually not asking you that how many times it is coming it's what they are asking is which of the options is going to make this sentence a true statement now tell me if i write down this as six let's suppose that you are correct and the answer is 182 and i am writing six here so now tell me is this a correct statement or not is this a true statement or not so already we were having six s in the sentence and now i also got one more s over here which is the s of this six because this dash is there right you will fill that option here and then the sentence will complete and after completing the sentence you have to check that whether it is true or not so that's why now you have total seven s in the sentence so that's why six cannot be the answer that's not making the sentence true i hope you are getting it so basically what option you are writing here after writing that whether your statement or whether your uh, whether the complete sentence is becoming true or not so how this is going to become true let me raise this this will become true if you uh, go according to the csir answer key which is seven and if i write down s e v e n and now if i count so in the answer uh, or in the sentence there are completely seven so there are seven s and it's written also seven so everything is true now so the statement or the following sentence becomes a true statement so this was the trick or it, it's not actually a trick at it was actually something which you can say as a presence of mind so yeah that's what the correct answer was and the answer key is totally correct okay so the answer key answer uh, answer key for this question is correct okay so no op no problem with option or question id 46 should be there it's already correct okay let's take the next question and the second question which you guys have requested which is question id 60 now here again a lot of uh, like problem is there with this question because it says that the following graph shows speed against distance covered by a car uh, one of the regions marked a b b c c d d e uh, all of which are of equal length fine 
the maximum chance of finding the car is in okay so where you are going to find the car in the maximum way or or the maximum chance of finding the car where is it so the answer according to the answer key is 237 let's see whether it is correct or not so look upon the statement here what they are asking is the maximum chance of finding the car okay maximum chance of finding the car like what how a chance of finding a car is going to be more oh, okay let me give you an example like this let's say i have uh, these four rooms okay room a room b room c and room d and uh, if this car is moving over here so if i ask you that in which room this stays for the maximum uh, what is the maximum chance of getting it in room a or in any room uh, in which room we have maximum chance of finding the car if let's say the car is moving in all those all these rooms like this so you will say the room in which it, it stays for the longer time right so it all depends on the time so more time it is spent somewhere you will have more chance of finding it right that's what it is more chance of finding so more time uh, it is going to stay somewhere more chance of finding it is now see all these distances are equal a b uh, b c distance is also equal then C D distance is also equal. Then uh, D E distance is also equal. So all these distances are equal. Fine. Let's now talk about that where you are going to have it. So we know the basic uh, like relationship. That is like a speed is equals to distance upon time. Or we can say that is speed. If if the distance is same because everywhere the distance is equal, so now the distance become constant over here. So what is the relationship between speed and time? So you will say that speed is inversely proportional to time. So that means if somewhere speed is high over there, the time will be less. That means where the car will be with high speed, there it will is going to spend less time. Okay. Now look at the graph. In the graph, on going in the y direction like this, the speed is increasing. So you will see that in this place over here the car has maximum speed so if the car has maximum speed in that case what will be the time because i said speed and time are inverse inversely related so maximum speed so it is going to stay for the minimum time over here okay it is going to stay for the minimum time over here uh, but where you are going to have in which portion you will so in order to find out for the maximum chance maximum chance will like max chance is going to correspond to what correspond to maximum time right and for maximum time what you need basically you need minimum speed so you need the place where the car is in the minimum speed so look upon the graph and it is very clear that the car is in minimum speed in this region a b so that's why a b is correct because here the speed is minimum speed and that's why it is going to have maximum time or you can say it is going to stay for the maximum time here and since it is staying for the maximum time over here so the chance of finding the car is highest over here so this is how it will be done and that's why both these answers are according to the answer key is correct okay so here again the answer key is correct so i couldn't find any mistake in section a of the answer key all the answers are correct according to the an answer key and yeah everything is correct over there i'm looking like i'm i'm doing for the rest of the sections and i'll be uploading videos very soon so thank you so much for watching and please do share this video with all your friends so that they also get to know about the correct answer and please do subscribe the channel so that when i upload the next video you get notification about it if you like the video please do give it a like thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, you have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.